Here's your weather video for this Sunday, January the 17th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and we've got an upper-level disturbance pushing uh, through Alabama today. It's bringing clouds to the area. You can see it on the upper air pattern across North America this morning. Those uh, areas of purple shown there over northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, up into Georgia, Tennessee, and the Carolinas. Uh, very strong wind speeds associated with that disturbance. You can see the trough there uh, extending uh, from the uh, Midwest down through Arkansas. Uh, you notice some more clouds this morning. They'll be uh, giving way through the afternoon to more sunshine, uh, but it will be uh, continued, uh, continuing to be on the cooler side, not as cool as yesterday, uh, and it'll be breezy uh, with winds gusting to about uh, 18 to 20 miles an hour at times. We'll see highs today, upper 40s, North Alabama, around um, 52 or so in the I-59 quarter, uh, middle 50s to the south. You can see a few snow showers. Uh, to the north of Alabama, still associated uh, with um, that system that we were uh, tracking uh, as of Friday and uh, reinforced by this upper disturbance. But you can see here in Alabama, we're high and dry. The system starved for moisture tonight. Overnight lows uh, will be near freezing again. Uh, upper 20s north, near freezing along and uh, just south of the I-20 quarter to uh, middle 30s in the south. By tomorrow now, high pressure begins to build into Alabama. That uh, trough will be gone to be replaced by a ridge. Uh, we should see uh, a good bit of sunshine here. Still fairly cool temperatures, uh, upper 40s to lower 50s across much of the area. Now, Tuesday, another disturbance approaching, uh, triggering a front that will be moving into parts of Arkansas, western Tennessee. Looks like that front could push those showers into western Alabama Tuesday night. Um, not sure that's going to happen at this point. Uh, temperatures on Tuesday, middle to upper 50s. Uh, we'll be watching for those showers Tuesday night, overnight lows in the upper 30s. Uh, that front's going to be hanging around just to our north. You can see there on Wednesday morning, the uh, uh, showers potentially over West Alabama, the I-20 quarter. We'll be watching out for that. The rest of the day should be fairly dry, though. Uh, by Wednesday night, though, the, another disturbance passing to our north will give that front a little added oomph. Uh, we'll see increasing showers uh, to our north over Tennessee, north Alabama, uh, beginning to drop south into our area late Wednesday night, early Tuesday morning. This is 12Z or 6 a.m. on Thursday morning off of the GFS showing those showers over north Alabama. And um, then that front kind of hangs around and waits for a stronger disturbance uh, late Thursday night and Friday. So it looks like we're going to see um, showers on Thursday, uh, probably increasing rain as we go through the day. Those showers last into the uh, uh, nighttime hours, Thursday night into Friday morning. Yeah, it will be a little warmer, though, uh, lower 60s on Thursday, dropping back into the upper 50s on Friday as that system moves through. Clearing skies by Saturday. Uh, but not noticeably cooler. Not a big air mass change will be in the middle to upper 50s uh, after starting out with overnight lows in the middle to upper 30s. And by Sunday, it's generally more of the same, partly cloudy and mild. Uh, next rain system comes in, looks like Monday night, the 25th. Uh, fairly decent low there uh, moving through uh, the Ohio River Valley. Showers and thunderstorms back into Alabama. It doesn't have a severe weather look per se, but uh, something we'll have to watch. We continue to get... Uh, deeper into the year here, we'll see increasing chances for severe weather, but I don't think this is the system that's going to bring that. And uh, moving out sort of to the end of the period, uh, this is um, 18 Z or 12 noon on Monday the 1st. Uh, we've just gone through a rain system. We stay fairly progressive all through the remainder of the month, and another one is already beginning to get its act together just to the west, ready to move into Alabama. Temperatures off the national blend of models over the next several days. You can see uh, 50s right around normal. Uh, for Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. We'll be back up near 60 by Thursday, uh, falling back just a bit, but not very far away from those seasonal norms as we go toward the last week of the month. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, the 17th. I'll have notes on the blog forecast update coming up for you at noon. And, of course, James will be here tomorrow and all week with two a day. Scott will be here next Saturday, and I'll see you next Sunday. And until then, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.